Let's go. And we will see. Today is Wednesday, the 28th day of June 2023, and this is your lab boy today. You should obey God rather than men, and wherever there is any law, any directive, any instruction, anything that wants to compel you to go against the will of God, give them a wide berth. Hold on to the hold on family to the pool of Christ. For your life, boy, today we'll be reading in the Acts of the Apostles in chapter 5. The reading, another very long passage, will start from the 17th verse. Are you set? Let's go together. But the high priest rose up, and all that were with him, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, they arrested the apostles and put them in the common prison. But at night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out and said, Go and stand in the temple and speak to the people all the words of his, of his life. And when they heard this, they entered the temple at daybreak and taught. Now the high priest came and those who were with him and called together the council and all the senate of Israel and sent to prison to have them brought. But when the officers came, they did not find them in the prison and they returned and reported we found the prison securely locked and the sentries standing at the doors. But when we opened it, we found no one inside. Now, when the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard these words, they were much perplexed about them, wondering what this would come to. And someone came and told them, the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then the captain with the officers went and brought them, but without violence, for they were afraid of being stoned by the people. When they had brought them, they set them before the council, and the high priest questioned them, saying, We strictly charged you not to teach in this in his name. Yet here you have filled Jerusalem with your teachings, and you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised Jesus, whom you killed by hanging, hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior, to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses to these things. And so is the Holy Spirit with God, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they were all enraged and wanted to kill them. But a Pharisee in the council named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, held in honor by all the people, stood up, and ordered the men to be put outside for a while. And he said to them, Men of Israel, take care what you do with these men. For before these days, Theodas arose, giving himself out to be somebody, and a number of men, about 400, joined him. But he was slain, and all who followed him were dispersed and came to nothing. After him, Judas the Galilean arose in the days of the census and drew away some of the people after him, 
he also perished, and all who followed him were scattered. So, in the present case, I tell you, keep away from these men and let them alone. For if this plan or this undertaking is of men, it will fail. But if it is of God, you will not be able to overthrow them. You might even be found opposing God. So, they took his advice, and when they had called in the apostles, they beat them and charged them not to speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. Then they left the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer dishonor for his name. And every day in the temple and at home, they did not cease teaching and preaching Jesus as the Christ. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. How many of you will stand by Christ when it has to do with imprisonment, flogging, beating, beheading, and all kinds of things? It's difficult, I tell you what. And that's why my heart always goes out to that girl, Leah Sharibo, who amongst all the lot of the girls captured in northern Nigeria, she stood her ground. Right now, she is still paying for it. There is no word concerning her safety, but we will continue to pray for her, that the Lord will continue to uphold her and strengthen her, because she was one that had the boldness to speak in the name of Jesus and declared that she would not give her faith for any other thing. Sometimes things like that may also happen to you in politics. People will tell you because you are not of a particular religion and the community that you are from has a lot of people of that religion that perhaps you should change your name back to that old name you used to bear in that old religion or that you should not let them know that you are a reverend or you should not let them know that you are in Christ. And I say, speak boldly. Wherever you will get to, you will get to. And wherever you will not get to, then God has alternative plans for you. You must be bold to speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Our time is far spent. I just want to encourage you right now that if you are not yet in that Jesus Christ, you need to get close to him right now and you need to give your heart to him and live your life according to his word. If you are set for that experience, just say this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. I also want to have to have the boldness to speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, yeah, forgive me of all the sins of the past as I have been a sinner of my life. Accept me as one of yours today because I also accept you as Lord and Savior from today. I pray in Jesus' name. If you just said that prayer, you need to find more grace in the fellowship of other brethren to have the boldness to speak in the name of Christ wherever you find yourself. If you just said that prayer, you need to find a Bible-believing church where you can have many more people who can encourage you to obey God rather than men so that you can follow the will of God. So, I always invite that people who just give their life should join us in the Anglican Church of Rokia's Extension, Ushogbo. For now, we still worship in the Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High Schools, Onyikon and Gokyomi Bodum Drive, Rokia's Extension, Ushogbo, Nigeria. You can join us every Tuesday, 5 o'clock in the late afternoon for our midweek services. Or if you want to join us on Sunday, 9 o'clock in the morning, join us and let us together obey God rather than men. And as you go out today, let's say this prayer together. Say, Mighty God, Grant me the grace to always obey you and not men. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Go out today. Obey God rather than men. We are not saying we should not, you should not obey constituted authority, but wherever constituted authority wants you to do anything against the will of God, you should choose to obey God rather than men. God bless you. You are good.